It's time to fire this thing up. Hit it. Last time we were out on the Puget Sound, we learned about downriggers and we also went coho salmon fishing. Hi, I'm Jonathan Graviscus, and this time we're going to be back out on the Sound. We're going to learn about crabbing. We're also going to see a bunch of different areas to go visit, but first, let's get a taste of the local cuisine. Hello, I'm Frank Rogg. I'm the executive chef here at the Woodmall Hotel. And I'd like to invite you to the Beach Cafe located here on Lake Washington in Kirkland. Uh, we have two fantastic dishes we want to share with you here. One of them is our Northwestern Pacific Clam Chowder that we serve with manila clams, some fresh leeks, potatoes. Um, and then over here we have is our line caught fish and chips served with our house made breading, our house made tartar sauce with pickles. Um, and again, like I said, we're mentioned here in Kirkland on Lake Washington with a beautiful view. Um, we would like to invite you to come on in. You can locate us at, uh, in Kaolon Point, and then if you want, our website at beachcafekirkland.com. Shipshape TV, where boat improvement lives, is made possible by the entire collection of beautiful Sunbrella fabrics. Sunbrella, the only fabric to offer both design and performance above and below deck. By Boat Outfitters, your source for replacement hardware, custom king starboard doors, tackle centers, and more. Need it? They'll build it. Visit BoatOutfitters.com to update or customize your boat today. By Yamaha. Reliability starts here. And by the TaylorMade Group. Leading marine manufacturers of original and replacement boat tops and covers. Windshields, windows, and hard to find replacement parts. Aftermarket accessories. Our all new custom T-top covers and more. Let us help you make your boat look ship shape again. Secrets in preventing rust, oxidation, and color change to metal presented by Shark Hide Metal Protectant. Galvanized steel. Spray a thick protective film of Shark Hide on bolt springs and frame. No rust. Stainless steel. Dip in Shark Hide Metal Protectant, resulting in no rust stains on fiberglass. Look at all the uses for Shark Hide on aluminum. Zero pitting, no oxidation, nothing looks aged. So many uses, yet so little time. Thank goodness all you do is swipe on. Done. Shark Hide. Discover the deco difference. Highly engineered boat lifts that won't hamper your view. Stronger, better built with the finest materials. Deco boat lifts. Lift boats with these. Faster than others. That's sure to please. Craftsmanship longevity. Deco boat lifts. Lift boats with these. Zero backlashing. Five decades strong. All at the best prices. Deco boat lifts. Lift boats with these. Glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Now located in Sydney, British Columbia, and we're halfway between Seattle and Vancouver. And a lot of the fisheries guys um, are moving us from inshore fishing to we have to get out in the ocean. And that means the seas get much rougher. And I want to introduce you to our next expert guest. This is David Smith. And David owns a company here called Shockwave. And his background is in automotive racing. And he is kind of the brains behind valving shock absorbers 
getting so much more out of shock mitigation. And not only have you done a lot of NASCAR, but also, you know, the Baja racers where they're going over those dunes and everything. And I mean, they're catching air and everything. You brought that into military marine, okay? We're on a real special boat that's built here in Canada. It's an aluminum rigid inflatable boat. Who, who's the builder? Titan Boats. Okay, tell everybody about the center console and what's it suspended on. Well, this center console, this is our, our premium product and this is designed specifically for special forces worldwide. Right. And we were finding that they, we were protecting people's backs, but then we were beating the heck out of the sensitive electronics. So we've uh, created a platform with four shock absorbers that's multi-axis that provide shock mitigation for weapon systems, electronics. So nothing type. gets damaged when nothing you're gets, in a rough sea. Okay, no. he brought that technology, guys, to us, the Pleasure Boater. And I want to introduce the world to the, sh this is so cool. This is called the Shockwave S5. And he's taken that special valving along with the shock absorber and he's made it into a seat mount for us to, I guess, go 16 times farther. That's correct. Without getting fatigued or 16 times less the uh, compression on your lower back. And I have a bad lower back. You can mount this on a box. Um, you can mount it on a pedestal. You can put traditional garlic spiders and sliders and whatever you want on top of it. But he also makes a military grade line of seat and sliders and everything else. It's really affordable. I'm talking for a guy like me that has a bad back, at the price that he's asking for this, it is a steal. And we have a lot of boat builders that watch the show and all their customers are me, guys with bad backs, okay? We have millions and millions of pleasure boaters that are watching. We all have the same problem. We either get tired in about an hour out on the boat because of hitting those waves, this gives you 16 times longevity of not getting fatigued, and it also is gonna save your back. So if your back goes out normally on a, on a fishing trip in half hour, you can last eight hours and your back's gonna feel great. How can people at home get more information? Uh, they can go to our website at shockwaveseats.com. When you come out and visit Seattle, you are definitely going to want to try the local seafood cuisine. And one of the best places to get seafood in the entire city is here at the White Swan Public House and the 100 Pound Clam. Who we have on is Sandy Lamb. And Sandy, tell us a little bit about the 100 Pound Clam and what you guys do here. Yeah, um, here at the 100 Pound Clam, we have our fish shack walk-up window. You can get fish and chips and seafood chowder, um, your typical Seattle fare. It's an amazing, gorgeous outside, outdoor bar. There's beautiful Lake Union right behind us. We've got seaplanes taking off behind us, boat traffic all over the place. It's an unbelievable location, but you also have an indoor uh, restaurant right next to it. Tell us a little bit about the White Swan Public House and who is the chef? And what can we expect cuisine-wise there? Yeah, here um, at the White Swan Public House, our chef is Josh Nevy, and he makes fantastic food. Um, everything from his house-made currywurst with roasted cauliflower to his Mia Bay King salmon and Dungeness crab. We have fresh rotating daily oysters on the menu and steamed clams. That sounds so good. As I said, we are right on the edge of Lake Union and you guys have a dock that people can pull their boats up to. They have to call ahead of time to reserve a slip from your website and they can bring their boat up, bring their kayak up, come out, hang out at the 100 pound clam or go to the White Swan Public House for dinner. Where do they go to find out more information about you guys, what your specials are, directions to the restaurant? Where can they go? You can find us online at whiteswanpublichouse.com. You can make your reservations online. Um, give us a call if you need us to reserve a slip for you. Um, but that's it. Awesome. Sandy, thank you so much. We are going to get some awesome food and we'll be back after this. Stay bolted. Ship Shape TV will be back in a snack. You are the coolest dad on the planet. Your kids and their friends love to hang with you. You get it. You get them. That's why you had to get a lily pad diving board for the boat. That's right. Every head on the water turns in your direction. Let's check with the judges. Lily pad diving boards, a perfect 10 every time. Your private water park every time you anchor.
SeaDeck was founded by a group of individuals who share a love of life on the water. 13 years later and more than 130 employees strong, our passion has grown stronger than ever before. We are fishermen. We are paddleboarders. We are surfers. We, we are, are parents. parents. We are Captains for Clean Water. One man with his one and only pride and joy. Give that man literally one minute and his boat, no matter what the style, now is completely protected from sun damage all the way to the waterline. Hull sides, vinyl seats, even the outboards. OneMinuteBoatCover.com When your current mooring cover is too heavy and awkward to handle alone. OneMinuteBoatCover.com Seven year warranty on the fabric, lifetime on the track and frame. OneMinuteBoatCover.com Your link to covering your baby completely in less than one minute's time. Welcome back. You're tuned into Ship Shape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show. John, Seattle began with timber. Now, what were the, the, the species of trees around here and and is this kind of uh, your location in Seattle? I mean, it's kind of known as the portal to the world with shipping and all of that kind of stuff, but what species of wood uh, was really prevalent when it began? Yeah, we have the biggest forest in the world of Douglas fir, of cedar, and of spruce. And in addition, it's all on water that connects to the Pacific Ocean. So the center of wood production and water waste to the world are all right here in Seattle. Okay, now a lot of those species, guys, is very used in wooden boats, okay? Did a big industry kind of forge from the timber Almost world? immediately shipbuilders realized that this timber was great for building boats. And we became one of the biggest boat building centers in the United States by 1900. Okay. Now, uh, a lot of pleasure boats back in the day were made from wood as well, and I know right here on Lake Union, there's quite a history, and it's all kind of here in the museum for everybody to kind of discover. And could you please tell everybody this museum and why this needs to be on their bucket list when they're coming out to Seattle to kind of check out where it began and its roots? Well, this is the Seattle story, the story of boat building, but also the story of plane manufacturing. Everything about Seattle is here. It's the Museum of History and Industry. You can check us out on the web at mohai, M-O-H-A-I dot org. We're open every day of the year, except for Christmas and Thanksgiving. And John, here's the best part. Everyone under 15 is free every day of the year. Guys, this is Leonard Garfield, and Leonard is with the museum. And Leonard, I, I want to go back to that timber industry, and a lot of people in the audience know that Boeing is centered right here in Seattle. Uh, did Mr. Boeing have anything to do with the timber industry? You know what, John? He did. In fact, Bill Boeing was a timber man in his early 20s. He made a fortune harvesting the wood, and then he decided he wanted to fly but he turned to the boat building community to build those early planes. So the very first plane was built by boat builders. The wings were made by the women who sewed sails. And that first airplane, he called it a flying boat. Okay, now you have a really amazing classic racing boat here in the museum. This is also pretty ironic, guys, because it wasn't the boat builders that made that particular craft who this, built that. Well, this time it was the airplane manufacturers who used their skills to make a boat that flew. It was actually a flying boat in another way. It was the fastest boat ever on water, 1950. They called it ironically slow motion, but it was the world's fastest hydroplane built by airplane manufacturers. Okay, one more time for people to get it on their bucket list. We're inviting the entire country, all of our boaters that are watching us, you gotta come out here. You're located right on Lake Union, where all the original boat builders. Yep, and all the pleasure craft today are right here on Lake Union. And this is also, you will see seaplanes taking on, I mean, just like Mr. Boeing. He didn't have Absolutely. a landing strip. And, and that boat uh, builder airplane that they made, yeah. actually the runway was the uh, Puget Sound, which is pretty darn cool. The runway was actually right above our head. That plane, which is now flying in our atrium, landed right out here on the water. It all comes together in Seattle and it all comes together at Mohai. One more time, give everybody the website for the museum. Oh, okay, I'd love to. It's Mohai, that's M-O-H-A-I dot org. And we invite everyone to join us.
There's no other place you'd rather be than on the water, living your passion. Whether it's a serene day at the lake, cruising the coastline, or using the wind to power you along your course, only Sunbrella fabrics combine style and comfort above and below deck with the absolute best performance and warranty on land and sea. Master your most challenging offshore experience with confidence and ease with Yamaha Helmmaster. Precise, intuitive control on the open sea. Unrivaled ease for maneuvering and docking in port. And now Setpoint adds three new dimensions to boat control. Maintain boat position with fish point, or a position and heading with stay point, or a heading while you drift with drift point. Yamaha Helmmaster, now with Setpoint. Complete digital control for today's larger offshore boats. Why is Sea Hunt now the number one selling fiberglass center console style boat 18 to 30 feet in America? Because when you buy a Sea Hunt, you get so much more. More standard features, more efficient running hulls. Look, guys, I'm running 34 miles an hour on just one engine. More cockpit space, more family time out on the water, more fishable, more funnable, so much more affordable. Sea Hunt, more, more, more. Big news! Full episodes are now available on the Shipshake TV YouTube channel. Hit subscribe, and every time a program posts, you'll be personally notified. A lot of my friends out here on the Puget Sound and in Seattle are wanting to repaint their boat but they're kind of having difficulty swallowing the cost and the time out of the water that it's going to take to get that done. That leads us to our next expert guest. This is Stephanie Aird. Stephanie, thank you for being on the program. And Stephanie's with Prism Graphics. You guys are a boat wrap company. Tell us a little bit about the difference in cost between painting a boat and wrapping a boat. Sure. Uh, the cost is huge. It's about a third of the cost difference. Um, 40 foot boat, for example, is about a $20,000 paint job. We can do it for five to six. Wow. Um, your boat will be out of commission for a very long period of time, up to a month possibly, if you're doing a paint job where we can get it done in three days. A 40 foot boat can be done in three days easily. That is huge. It's also, there are no harmful chemicals around the water. No chemicals. Very environmentally friendly. Yes. Very quick, a lot cheaper. But what kind of boats can you do? Is it only fiberglass boats? We can wrap pretty much anything. No rubber, obviously, but um, fiberglass, painted wood, aluminum. Up here, aluminum is really popular. Um, so yeah, we can do that. Can we see some examples of some different kinds of wraps that you guys have done? Sure. So we have a 40-foot sailboat. It was 45-foot sailboat that was white and green here. And they wanted to update it and change it without the expense of the paint. So we did a nice metallic uh, gray with some added purple accent stripes. And we did not only below the hull, but we also did up above on the top deck on the cabin house. And then we also have this Kingfisher. It was a white aluminum boat that um, he got for a really good deal, but he wanted to update it and add some color to it. So we added this beautiful metallic blue to a partial wrap down the side and then also added his graphics to it. So you can do bootstripes, you can do partial wraps, yes. you can do just graphics, yeah. you can sort of have it whatever, whatever you, want. you want. That is amazing. Now, let me ask you with, with wraps, do you need to wax them like you need to wax uh, a normal paint job? You do need to. They do get scuffed and bumped and whatnot, and you just we give you extra material and you can patch it in yourself. It's very simple. The material will give you about 10 years life out of it, and you need to wax it just as if it was a painted hull so that it doesn't become brittle and whatnot. It doesn't take nearly the amount of time that painting your boat does. It's also much more environmentally friendly. There are no harmful chemicals around the water, and we want to be very green anywhere where we're boating. Where can people find out more information about you guys, see some stuff that you've done, and, and figure out what they want to do? Sure. Uh, you can visit us at prismgraphics.com. We're just in South Seattle right off the First Avenue South Bridge. Stephanie, thank you so much. We thank have you. to take another time out. We'll be back after this.
TV will be back in a flash. One man with his one and only pride and joy. Give that man literally one minute and his boat, no matter what the style, now is completely protected from sun damage all the way to the waterline. Hull sides, vinyl seats, even the outboards. OneMinuteBoatCover.com When your current mooring cover is too heavy and awkward to handle alone. OneMinuteBoatCover.com Seven year warranty on the fabric, lifetime on the track and frame. One minute boat cover.com. Your link to covering your baby completely in less than one minute's time. Boat owners for decades have utilized Pacer Group catalogs for their marine wiring needs. But as technology has changed, so has the way that researching for Pacer Group electrical switches have. And yes, all DIYers know our URL pacergroup.net. So, whether a visit to our superstore in Fort Lauderdale is easier, picking up everything you need to wire a boat, or you want it shipped right to your door, it's the power of Pacer Group that makes it happen. This is Cleet Colasso, owner of Lighthouse Marine Supply and MarineEngineParts.com. Cleet invests in engine parts inventory. Massive amounts of marine engine parts and accessories on hand and ready to ship at a moment's notice. Manifolds, risers, alternators, starters, heat exchangers, coolers, rake or filters, water pumps, impellers. If it's a part needed for a marine engine, Cleet by day, part man by night, delivers right to your door. Visit MarineEngineParts.com. Thanks, party. Saving motors weekends everywhere. Welcome to the Starbright booth here at ICAST 2017. I'm Eric Applegate. I'm gonna walk you through some of the new stuff we have here at Starbright. First, I'm gonna start with the non-skid deck wax. This is a complement item to our traditional non-skid deck cleaner. Where the cleaner is meant to clean the deck, the wax is meant to keep the deck clean and also adds a durable barrier that's non-slip. This product is unique in the sense that you don't have to wax the surface in order to restore some of that luster that you may have lost over time on your non-skid surfaces. The next product that we're going to talk about here is our Premium Restorer Wax. This is going to fill the gap in our premium line of polishes that's going to take care of medium to heavy oxidized surfaces as well as laying a polymer barrier over the top making this a true one step product for those really really tough and oxidized surfaces. The third and last product that we're going to talk about here is our Ultimate Magic Sponge. The Ultimate Magic Sponge is meant for any scuffs or hard to clean stains all over the boat. The difference is going to be this yellow band, which adds reinforcement, making this pad extremely durable and will not crumble in your hand. For any other questions or comments or concerns, please visit our website at starbright.com and like us on Facebook and all other social platforms. That's right, our project today is pretty much complete, which means we're now back on the water with John. The last time that we were here in the Puget Sound, we caught some coho salmon with Tom Nelson, who has a big radio program on AM 710 every Saturday morning from 6 until 10. And if you look in this live well, you are going to see a whole bunch of Dungeness crab that we have just caught. And it wasn't actually just us, okay, out there. Jonathan was on a 29-foot Everglades, and he was on with somebody pretty, pretty big. Jonathan's a huge Seahawks fan. Who was he crabbing with? He was fishing with one Robert Lee Tobeck, old number 61, Seahawk Pro Bowl Center. Played in two Super Bowls and a uh, good fishing buddy of mine. And, uh, you know, he was kind enough to offer his boat up for, uh, for a camera boat today, and, and uh, we're glad he did. <laughs> he actually has a place on the West Coast in Florida. Okay, we're going to be doing some fishing this winter together. Um, we've become friends and we just had a really big time. I want to talk a little bit about the crab traps, okay, or, or they call them up here pots, guys. Um, how deep do you set them? All right, tell us that first. Well, generally anywhere from 10 feet to 210 feet. Okay. It just kind of depends and, and we have to figure that out during day's fish. Most people in the Puget Sound will use chicken necks or chicken parts sure. along with maybe some herring and everything and they do okay all right you want to give them <laughs> you want to give them filet mignon okay what what do you bait your 
uh, crab pots with. You know, the, the best bait you can get, John, is that which you catch yourself. And a salmon backbone, salmon head, the, there's really nothing better than that. You can even you can even use tuna, but salmon, nothing beats fishing salmon for crab. You'll outfish somebody that's just fishing chicken and herring. Okay, let's really zero in on the line that goes to the floats, okay? You do not want to use a regular polypropylene line, do you? Absolutely, John, it floats. That could be a problem. Okay, what could happen? Well, another boater could come by and become entangled in an excess line that will, will stack up on the surface. It'll get caught in his prop, eventually cut the line. You lose your pot. He could lose his prop, and the crabs lose because there's gear down there fishing derelict and no, no, unattended. Okay, you want to use what type of line? You want to use leaded line, John. Leaded line sinks under its own weight. It's not even neutrally buoyant. It sinks to the bottom, and in that way, it'll be hanging directly underneath your float and won't be a hazard to other boaters. Okay. You use a uh, certain device here on your boat, um, and, and this is a really cool 28-foot aluminum boat. Who's, who's the builder? It's a Weldcraft, John. It's Renaissance Marine Group, Weldcraft Duckworth, same company, built in Clarkston, Washington. Okay, you have something really cool with like your boom <laughs> arm and everything and your pulley. The, um, you're using a, a winch, right? Yes. Okay, um, but they're not connected. It's not connected to the arm. And this is pretty, this is a good space saver. And, and you guys might want to think about that. Who, who makes that winch? The, it's a Nilsson Sea Winch, Nilsson of New Zealand. It's a New Zealand winch. And uh, and the arm is my own design. But yeah, it's a standard marine capstan, but it's very tough. Oh, we got riders. We got riders. This is a female. And you can see how wide she is across okay. the abdomen. And she, and she would be too small anyway. So we don't, we only, only males you can keep. That's a male right there. That's a male. Yes, sir. So there we go. There's another keeper. Tom and I were pulling up traps in probably a tenth of the time that Robbie and Jonathan were on, on his boat. What what type of uh, device was he using to actually pull? Because they're heavy. You know, yeah. if you're 120 feet down or whatever, and it's loaded with crab, I mean, that's pretty heavy getting up through the water yeah. column. What was he using? He was using a standard plug-in portable downrigger mount pot pull. Okay. And we now have 12 Dungeness Crab. We only set them out there for what, about five hours? Yeah, about four or five hours, Okay, sure. and we actually set four different pots in, in different depths, and we were getting crabs in every one of them, which was fantastic. But what they do is they, they throw the, all the females back. You're allowed to keep the, do you call them jimmies here? Males. Or do you, yeah, males. males, okay, yeah. I'm used to blue crab. We call them jimmies or whatever. But, uh, but show them again one of the Dungeness Crab. We're going to have a feast. I don't know if you've ever had fresh Dungeness Crab, guys. But this is the male. You That's can see the male it. Okay. The female has a more of a rounded uh, uh, Car carapace. Yeah, carapace right there. And that's going to be delicious. Yeah, absolutely. Can't wait. Closed captioning provided by the over two decade video library at the all new Shipshape TV website. Available now worldwide online with paid subscription. Makes a great gift with a special boater search engine for ease of use. Hurry, the introductory price ends soon. So watch any episode, old or new, on any device at the all new ShipshapeTV.com. Attention waterfront property owners already sold on the fact that synthetic lumber for decks and docks is far superior to the pitfalls of pressure treated wood. You know about the splintering and the weathering issues. However, not every composite board sold is alike. Some turn chalky, decay due to mold and mildew. Most fade in color with age, though not true when you opt for the best. Lumber Rock, the fastest growing manufacturer of synthetic lumber on and around the waterfront. Lumber Rock, we never fade away. Boat Steering Solutions, every boater's BFF, is not a repair shop. We remanufacture hydraulic devices back to original factory specs. We disassemble, inspect, and replace all defective parts. Simply tell us what's wrong. Ship us your helm, cylinder, it's remanufactured. Then back to you in a day or two, at like half the cost of buying new. Need hydraulic hose? Boat Steering Solutions, your official Sea Star authorized service center, is your BFF. The savings are here at BoatSteer.com. This is why we call them Ocean Tamer. Total body support and comfort. Shock absorbing marine beanbag chairs. Ocean Tamer, the most comfortable seat on board. Crafted from 100% marine grade materials. Built tough to handle the harsh marine environment. Water repellent. UV stabilized. Ocean Tamer marine beanbags. Four awesome styles. Tons of color choices. Can be personalized with boat name or logo. Finally, two nylon handles for ease of carrying or stowing. Order yours today. Ocean-Tamer.com.